stop eating these foods, as they can not only make you sick, but if not prepared properly, poison you to death. Stay tuned till the end of this video to also see what food you're not eating that you definitely should be. Beep Apple seeds. No, it's not because an apple a day keeps a doctor away. It's because apple seeds contain amygdalin, a compound that's broken down by your gut into cyanide. That's why they actually taste bitter. Cyanide is actually a poison that hurts your blood's ability to carry oxygen, leading to hypoxemia and eventually death. Good news though, your body can actually break down small amounts of cyanide and you'd have to eat hundreds or even thousands of seeds to be at risk for poisoning. Fugu or pufferfish. As seen in movies, pufferfish and the dish prepared from it can be extremely poisonous. The ovaries, intestines, and liver of fugu contain tetrodotoxin, which is a neurotoxin that's up to 1,200 times more deadly than cyanide. Fugu chefs must undergo years of training to obtain a proper preparing license. And despite these precautions, numerous people still die every year from their fugu being improperly prepared. This puffer poisoning usually results from consumption of incorrectly prepared puffer soup called fugu chiri, or occasionally from raw puffer meat known as sashimi fugu. If it's not correctly prepared, fugu can paralyze your nervous system and shut down your respiratory muscles, meaning this fish can cause you to drown when you're not even in the water. Rhubarb. Rhubarb is a plant whose stalk is often used in pies, muffins, cakes, and although rhubarb is botanically a vegetable, it's classified as a fruit here in the United States. Their leaves contain high levels of oxalic acid, which is a corrosive and acidic substance that can lead to kidney failure and even death. And I stressed high levels because other healthy vegetables like broccoli and spinach also have oxalic acid and they're just fine for us. So don't use this as an excuse to skip out on your veggies. It's truly the dose that makes the poison. Actually, a wild story is that during World War I when vegetable stock was real low, the leaves were mistakenly recommended as a food source in Britain leading to poisonings and even deaths. Whoa. Elderberries. Okay, I admit elderberries are delicious and actually not poisonous if cooked and ripe. But the rest of the tree they grow on, including its twigs, leaves, roots, and seeds, contain bitter alkaloids that produce hydrocyanic acid. If elderberries aren't fully ripe or strained properly when they're processed, they can cause nausea, vomiting, and severe, severe diarrhea. According to the CDC, there was actually an instance when eight people attending a religious ceremony in Monterey County were airlifted to the hospital after drinking a special juice that had been made with, among other things, elderberry leaves and bran. They all survived, but not before violently, violently vomiting, just 15 minutes after drinking the juice. Make sure you know who's making your drinks and with what. Red kidney beans. Actually, a lot of legumes can cause an upset stomach when undercooked but red kidney beans certainly take the cake. And that's because red kidney beans contain a natural protein called lectin. Within just a few hours of consuming PHA, symptoms of nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain may appear. This PHA is the bean's natural defense system, like our immune system. But rest assured, as PHA is destroyed by proper preparation, and legumes are most definitely a healthy source of protein if properly prepared. But it's not just a matter of cooking them. In fact, according to the FDA, Cooking dried red kidney beans for less than 10 minutes at any temperature less than boiling can actually increase the toxicity fivefold, making them far more toxic than if you just ate them raw. Castor oil seeds or beans. Castor oil is notoriously known for being used as a laxative to help you poop. Specifically, it's a stimulant laxative, meaning that it increases the movement of the muscles in the intestines, helping out with constipation. However, if you watch the show Breaking Bad or my reaction to the show, you know that the deadly poison ricin shown on the show is made by crushing castor seeds. It is reassuring to know that to make castor oil from the seeds, we use heat during the oil extraction process to actually destroy the toxin. Lychee. Lychee sangria, lychee martini, lychee ice cream, yum. Lychees are delicious and are a hydrating fruit that have many health benefits if eaten correctly and in moderation. But if you're eating raw, green, unripened lychees on an empty stomach, that can prove to be extremely dangerous to your health. For 20 years, doctors observed an alarming trend in the northern region of India, where every spring, hundreds of children would randomly have seizures, slip into comas, dying in 40% of the cases. Fail test after fail test later, scientists finally determined 
that the underfed children were eating unripened lychees that fell to the ground. And they contain high levels of a naturally occurring amino acid derivative called hypoglycin. This caused the children to wake screaming in the night before suffering convulsions and losing consciousness as they suffered acute swelling of their brains. Luckily, since this discovery, incidents from unripened lychees in India have fallen to under 50 a year. Nutmeg. Get this. The delicious little bit of nutmeg that you add to your pasta, eggnog, and sauces may be yummy, but over-ingesting the spice can actually be fatal. Nutmeg contains a compound called myristicin, a psychoactive substance that in larger doses can actually poison your system and cause organ failure. Myristicin is actually cytotoxic, meaning that it instructs your own cells to destroy themselves. In fact, just eating two, three teaspoons of nutmeg can result in seizures, irregular heartbeat, nausea, dizziness, dry mouth, pain, and hallucinations, similar to the ones people get when taking peyote. I still remember my med school toxicology professor sharing that nutmeg is metabolic metabolized into MMDA in the body to produce hallucinogenic effects, and as a result has romantically and historically been linked as a potential way to get high. Trust me though, this is a horrible, horrible idea. As the vomiting and toxicity make it a terrible recreational drug. There are also no known current antidotes for myristicin poisoning, and treatment focuses on symptom management and airway protection only. Potatoes. Potatoes are not poisonous in the way that we usually consume them, so relax. But if you consume a green potato, or even one with a greenish tint, it likely means that a glycoalkaloid poison named solanine is also present. This is an actual nerve toxin that can result in vomiting, diarrhea, paralysis, and even death if ingested in very high amounts. Also, you know those little sprouts and stems that we commonly refer to as eyes that grow on potatoes? As they age, they contain the same glycoalkaloid. So don't eat the stems, don't eat green potatoes, and remember, just because potatoes are technically a vegetable doesn't mean they can replace your broccoli at dinner. I'm watching you. Cashews. Did you know that unlike money, cashews do grow on trees? And you probably have seen me eat raw cashews on this channel as a snack, but truth be told, they're not actually raw. And thank God for that, as cashews have to be heat treated to remove urushiol, which is a poisonous chemical. It's actually the same chemical that causes a poison ivy rash. Consuming truly raw cashews straight from the tree can cause skin rashes and extreme, sometimes fatal, allergic reactions. Now for the one that you're supposed to eat, kiwi skin. Some of you may not like its texture, but health benefit-wise, it's really solid. The skin contains nutrients like fiber, folate, vitamin C, and E. Adding the skin of the kiwi boosts the fruit's fiber content by 50%. And as someone who's struggling to get my fiber, the furry skin texture may be worth the trade-off. However, as a little word of warning, if you have a tendency to develop kidney stones, you may want to look elsewhere for your antioxidant kit. Which is healthier, real meat or fake meat? Click here to find out, and as always, stay happy and healthy. Thank you.